morning. Just warming up my engine on the GMC. Time to take it to the mechanic and see what they say. Hopefully everything's okay. It might just need an oil change, maybe the brakes, I don't know. It's always a never ending thing with this van, but better to service it and look after it than not. And look at this beautiful sunrise. Wish me luck. We'll see how the van, we'll see how she gets on today. Sometimes you just need to find a place of quiet. To find moments to heal. My relationship recently ended. I love the ocean so much that <laughs> I just had to come down this morning and <sighs> take some quiet time by the water. <laughs> <coughs> healing and magical about the ocean and the quietness and just the sound of the water and the seagulls <laughs> the things to heal a broken heart Feeling a lot calmer and more distracted by the mundanities of life now. I needed to be down here. I need new shoes. Look, this has got a hole in it. 
both sides, my little toes are poking through, and they're covered in spray foam. Ugh. I'm sitting out in the car park lot, waiting to hear from the mechanic. It's just difficult when your house is the mechanic and you don't have any other way of getting around, but... It's been nice to have this as a distraction from the emotional turmoil that's the rest of my life. And now I just feel tired. I'm tired and sad and I want my house back. The sun has come out for a hot second <sighs> and I am going to go and start working on the van. Um, I've had a bit of a rougher morning this morning. Um, yeah, processing a breakup kind of all caught up on me at once and I had a really big cry and yeah just sitting with my broken heart and allowing myself to feel disappointed and sad <sighs> I'm gonna channel some of my heartbreak energy into building a new relationship with this van and putting my heart into it <sighs> when one relationship ends a new relationship starts and for me this is with my new van I don't know what its name is yet Maybe that's part of this process. Mending a broken heart via... Mending a new home, I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard to film this when I feel like... Pretty emotional. look back <laughs> in a year's time and just be proud of myself and see how far I've come <sighs> I've been working hard to remind myself the grieving and healing are not linear processes. There will be ups and downs, joy and sadness. I know I didn't share much about my relationship on this channel while I was in it and it feels sort of weird to share this breakup but I just couldn't post a happy Christmas video pretending to be all happy and bubbly. This video isn't real time, it's taken me a while to be able to look up this footage from when it happened without being a complete emotional mess. For all of you who might be having a holiday season that looks different to the norm or the hallmark of Christmas, or for those of you who don't celebrate or it's not part of your culture, we can be alone and together, feel loved and feel lonely.
and this too shall pass. I'm sending you all out there love and a big hug. Kind of like I feel like what I need right now too. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to do something completely different this time and I wanted to talk about craft. I have made myself some hand warmers, this hat and this cowl scarf uh, and some other things that I've given away as gifts to friends and I wanted this winter to make myself a new and exciting project. I want to make an octopus or the kraken, a, 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 a crocheted hat. So I have two balls of wool to start off with, my crochet hook, and I can't wait to have this hat, especially like coming out of the ocean after a big cold swim in winter. This is the perfect hat. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, I'm definitely inspired by the colors in this hat. This is a transition wool, which I don't have. I just have solid colors so it's not going to quite look like this but I'm thinking that this part will be orange, this part will be yellow and then I'll find some more wool to do. Back to watching my tutorial so I know what to do next. A little while later I think I'm getting the hang of it. Look at that. Woo! It's several hours later and this is where I'm up to. I have like basically half of an octopus head or octopus body. I'm so excited! When I started this hat I was so excited and then as I continued to make it, I really realized how significant it was. The wool was a gift from my ex, and turning it into something beautiful felt like a really precious ritual of remembrance of all the wonderful good times that we had together, and an honoring of our shared experiences. I really channeled grief and loneliness and heartbreak into this hat as I was making it, losing myself in hours of just crocheting, following a pattern, and feeling the textiles, the wool, the threads, the hook in my fingers. 